जय हिंद हेलो कैडेट्स इन कंटिन्यूएशन विद आर लेक्चर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट थर्मोस फ्लास्क व्हिच इज़ यूज्ड टू स्टोर अ पर्टिकुलर फूड आइटम एट अ पर्टिकुलर टेम्परेचर विदाउट चेंजिंग इट्स टेम्परेचर टू मच ओके नाउ इन दिस फर्स्ट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कीप द टेम्परेचर ऑफ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट कॉन्स्टेंट यू फर्स्ट मस्ट नो about the different modes of heat transfer by which the heat can flow in or out of the object okay so there are three different modes in which the heat can be transferred from either from the object or into the object it is conduction convection and radiation okay which also means that if you want to stop the heat transfer if you want to maintain the temperature of any object constant you have to make an attempt to stop or at least slow down the heat transfer due to all these three processes so let us see how do we achieve that in a thermos flask a typical structure of a thermos flask is somewhat like this the outermost layer of the thermos flask is made of a thermal insulator that is a bad conductor of heat so most commonly used material plastic or glass wool or some any other fiber artificial fiber which is which most of them are bad conductors of heat so by using a thermal insulator we intend to block or slow down heat transfer due to conduction why so you the heat transfer due to conduction depends on number 1 the material that is whether it is a good or bad conductor and second is area of cross section area of cross section so typically the insulator that we use should have a smaller or to medium cross sectional area okay if you use a large area of cross section then the size of the thermos becomes a little too big and that way it becomes uh, quite impractical to handle or to use or even to transport so the thermal insulator on the outside is designed to block or slow down heat transfer due to conduction next the inner vessel that contains the food article is typically made of metal just to add strength just to have enough strength and the ability to withstand the higher temperature of the object that is stored inside okay now in between these two vessels that is the thermal insulator on the outside and the inner vessel carrying the heated object in between them there is a vacuum maintained so between the inner vessel and the thermal insulation provided there is vacuum why do we need a vacuum vacuum is required to stop or to slow down heat transfer due to convection because in convection heat flows because of the movement of fluid or molecules either liquid or gas what if there are absolutely no fluid molecules available for the conduction for the carrying of heat energy so that is the reason that we maintain complete vacuum in this part which is there between the inner vessel and the thermal insulator next for radiation now heat transfer due to radiation is basically taking place in the form of electromagnetic waves which means that these waves can travel through vacuum also okay so for this we take help of another parameter that is there which affects heat transfer due to radiation now heat transfer due to radiation is affected by for uh, mainly the color okay so here dark and rough colors that is dark colors and rough surfaces cause heat to flow rapidly 
Why? Dark colors are good absorbers of heat. They are also good emitters of heat. That means they are not at all a good option in blocking or slowing down the heat transfer. Second, the heat transfer due to radiation also depends on surface area. Rough surfaces have larger surface area and therefore they can help in heat transfer due to radiation. That is why the outer surface of this vessel, see the inner vessel, okay, its outer surface is highly polished, very, very plain, very, very smooth. And second, it has a mirror finish. What do you mean by mirror finish? Mirror finish means it is grounded and made so plain and so smooth that it looks just like mirror. You can actually see your face on that surface. That is the degree of surface finish of that object, that surface. Why is it required? Again, these kind of surfaces, which are, which of them? Polished, extremely smooth, those have mirror finish. These surfaces are very good reflectors. And those which are very good reflectors, they are bad absorbers as well as bad emitters, meaning that they also help in slowing down the heat transfer due to radiation. Okay, so in a thermos flask, in its design, we always take into consideration this. So this surface is a highly polished mirror finished surface. So as heat can flow by means of conduction or convection or radiation, that is why if you want to keep the temperature of this object constant for a long time, you have to consider about blocking or slowing down heat transfer due to all these three modes or methods. So how do we take care of conduction? Apply thermal insulator, use small to medium area of cross section. What about convection? Simple, we put vacuum. We just don't have any particulate medium between these two objects. So there is no question of heat transfer due to convection. Radiation, how do we take care of that? Highly polished mirror finished surface which is a very, very good reflector, therefore a bad absorber and a bad emitter. Another important point for thermos flask that you have to note down is, imagine you have poured hot tea in the thermos flask and you have sealed its cap. In that case, it will remain hot for a considerably longer duration of time. Typically, six to eight hours, it will remain hot. The temperature will drop hardly by five, six degrees. But suppose you removed everything, you cleaned it thoroughly and then you filled it with ice cubes. Okay, listen again. You have a thermos flask cleaned and cleared. You put an ice cubes, you fill it completely with ice cubes. You seal the cap and you let it be just like that for six to eight hours. After that, when you open it, you will still see most of the ice cubes intact. Why? Because all this arrangement, this thermal insulator, this highly polished mirror finish surface, this vacuum, it will prevent heat flow from or into the flask. That means, now if there is ice, heat will try to flow into the flask. But yet, these precautions will make sure that the heat flow into the flask is very, very slow. Just like that, if you put in hot tea or coffee inside, the heat will try to flow outside from the flask. Yet, all these precautions will make sure that the heat should not easily flow out of the flask. The heat flow is going to be very, very slow. So please remember this, that if you put hot object, it will remain hot. If you put a cold object, it will remain cold. So the thermos flask is able to do that by blocking or slowing down all three modes of heat transfer. Okay? That is all from thermos flask. Thank you very much.